Okay, I uh, I went to a religious store called Sacco in Houston, and guess what I found in there that I bought? It's communion wafer. They actually sell these for consumption or whatever. It's a religious supply store called Sacco in Houston, Texas. 750 altar bread, they call it. It's one of the communion wafers. But what's even more interesting, they got two different versions. This is the one made out of pure wheat flour and water. But guess what? I got another, the other alternate version for people who don't, I guess maybe they're on a diet. Churches who members are on a diet. This one is wheat. If you can see that. Well, wrong second there. Excuse me. This one is made out of wheat flour and water. So, for those of you who are not Catholic or are Catholic, when the priest says a blessing over this bread, it's supposed to actually physically become a piece of the body of Christ. So, I guess the body of Christ is versatile. It can either be wheat flour form or white let's see I bought some other stuff while I was there too I bought this because I was curious the store is basically a, I guess a Catholic store Catechism of the Catholic Church includes modifications from the edition typica whatever that means editio typica over 8 million copies in print first new Catechism of the Catholic Church in more than 400 years. Complete summary of what Catholics throughout the world believe in common. Or what they're supposed to believe, according to the church, I guess. Because funny, I grew up Catholic, but uh, you're brought into the church because your parents take you there. They don't really explain to you everything in this book that you're supposed to believe. So let's look up something. I'm curious. There's an index in the back. We'll see. Just pull something out at random and see what it says. Holy Spirit. Let's see. Oh, yes. Sin of blasphemy in the Holy Spirit. That's a hot button issue on YouTube. I see these people that uh, blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, damning themselves to hell apparently. Let's see what the Catholic Church has to say. 1864. Excuse me here, I'm just going around. This is the famous line. Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men. But the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. However, the Catholic Church, this is their teaching, there are no limits to the mercy of God, but anyone who deliberately refuses to accept His mercy by repenting rejects the forgiveness of his sins and the salvation offered by the Holy Spirit. Such hardness of heart can lead to final impenitence and eternal loss. Which means, I guess you go to hell. It's a polite way of saying it. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. So I guess in this, the Catholic Church, like some people get on YouTube, I noticed, and they've said, I deny the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Spirit's an asshole, or whatever. According to the Catholic Church, you can say that and still be forgiven. I guess that they they consider this blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Uh, well, it's kind of vague, isn't it? Let me read that. It's kind of all these religious things are sort of confusing. 
What does it say again? Da -da -da. Someone who deliberately refuses to accept his mercy by repenting rejects the forgiveness of his sins and the son. Da -da -da. So I guess the Catholic Church considers blasphemy against the Holy Spirit to be refusing to accept his mercy and not repenting. Okay. That's interesting. I guess every church has their own different views on things, which can be confusing. But anyway, I actually attended Mass tonight because I was in the area. I went to... Let's see, where did I go again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart in Houston, Texas. This big fancy church they built recently. This is the bulletin. There's the mass schedule if anybody's ever in town. They even have a Vietnamese and Spanish mass. And confessions all over the place. Penance. Uh, welcome all visitors. Pastor's weekly message. Da, 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 da. There's the address if anybody's ever in Houston you want to go visit. They have tours. Where you can... Uh, this is a new church. It's kind of cool looking, I guess. There's one part that I wanted to show everyone that I found interesting. Oh yeah, this is this stood out. Weekly collection, 2010 versus 2009. Look, the amounts are down. And then it says, please try to be more generous in your weekly collections. Our monthly loan payments for a Cathedral Center are forty-six thousand dollars a month. Gee, that's a lot of money. It's a nice place though. Respect life. And they gave out some other stuff I picked up. One bread, one body. Advent. It's got a business reply card. Are they asking for donations here? Oh yes, please fold check. Uh, I can't get no satisfaction. This is a Mick Jagger tune. Let's see what else they gave out. They gave out a. This is a Catholic cable channel. Oh, this is in Spanish. I can't read that, people. I'm not Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, rather. Excuse me. Oh, well. That's a big group for Catholic Church, is the, uh, the Spanish-speaking population of America, Central America. That's why they should have, they should have made the, uh, the new Pope a Central American or Mexican. The Sacred Heart of Jesus, 12 Promises of the Sacred Heart. And let's see what else. It's a picture of Jesus, the classic picture. did I get all this stuff I'm showing came from the church little table mother of the sun excuse me a new prayer well, let me show you one more thing which is maybe of interest to somebody out there in YouTube land if you live in Houston or you're visiting the religious store I got I've been sitting in my car by the way if anyone gives a shit. Excuse me. Don't mean to offend you religious people by cursing. But if I did, oh well. The cross in my pocket. They gave me this at the store where I bought the communion wafers. That's the word. That's the name of the store. Sacco. If you can see that 2323 San Jacinto Street, Houston, Texas is the phone number. They got a website too, so they got all kind of religious supplies. You can buy the priest outfits. You can buy all sorts of goodies. Big giant crucifixes, pictures of Jesus. And actually I'm in Sugarland right now. 
meeting some people at Sam's boat to have some beers probably and some dinner so good night and thanks for watching peace out